Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature. I've been on a bit of a bug kick and Comet Lord Miniatures graciously decided to heed my call for more giant bugs and they just put out their King or Lord of the Undersands Empire, which is a bunch of flying bug men. And they had one in particular that was right up my alley and that was the Undersands Ravager. And it was a giant multi-armed beetle dude. So here is the main body. You can see it has been hollowed out, but he's going to have four arms and a big, massive head that's in upside down. <laughs> we'll pretend I did that correctly. And you can see a pretty decent detail already. Obviously, it's going to look a lot nicer once he is primed. And then he's going to have his upper arms here, big, spiky, pointy things. And then we're going to have the lower arms, if I can find where I put them. Well, I seem to be missing one, but that's okay. We'll hunt it down. Yeah, like seriously, where'd it go? Anyway, I have one of the lower arms handy, and I might need to go print another if I can't find it, but it's going to just go underneath there. Now, the cool thing is he has the option for every hand here to have a variety of weapon choices. Uh, now, the one that I went with, which, which was going to be, I thought, really fun, were giant kopeshes. So he's got these big, giant kopesh swords. So those are for the upper arms, and then he's got nice little teeny-sized kopesh swords for his lower arms. Now, you have a choice between those. There were axes available. There were claws available. There were scything blades available. So you could really go wild and make a whole lot of guys up like this. You also have the thorax, if I remember my bug parts correctly. And then the only thing that I'm not the biggest fan of is the legs. The legs, well, they look nice and I see I need to clip that little bit off there. Uh, they are a little on the smaller side compared to the rest of the body, and to me, it gives off a bit of a Kador Warjack vibe. Um, to me, the Kador mechs were always the most guilty of the tiny leg Warjack syndrome. But, you know, it's a giant forearm monster beetle dude with giant swords that are probably bigger, yep, than the average size human, so I don't know how much of an argument you want to put up with that. So, give me a sec, we're gonna grab him, we're gonna get him all put together, we'll grab a couple of the bugs we've been playing around with, and we'll see how they all stack up. All right, we got our Undersands Ravager all put together here, and actually having built him now, I gotta say, I am quite impressed. I really feel like the Comet Lord miniatures line has really continued to have some neat and interesting and varied looking models. Like I said earlier, you do have plenty of option choices of how you want to build these, whether it be with the Kopesh, the Axe, the Claws, or the Sickle Blades and the Poses as well. Having built them now, the legs, while they are short, don't feel as War Machine Heavy Warjack-like as I had originally envisioned, but yeah, he is a little bit top heavy, but he is, impressively top heavy he's a big dude i mean he probably is actually as large if not larger than a war machine war jack i don't have any anymore otherwise i would totally be grabbing one and showing you just for comparison's sake if i can get him to stand up which he obviously does not want to this is another of the undersands model line that was part of the same release as i'm grabbing him and trying to stick some more sticky stuff on there and I just dropped it on the floor. Great. We'll have to get that later. There you go, Mr. Bugman. You can buzz off with that attitude. So yeah, that is a Lancer, I believe, and he was a royal pain to get off of the build plate. I managed to get his wings off when he was just one piece too, and he lost his antennae in the process, but you know. Oh well. Just how big is this guy? Well, pretty darn big. Uh, if you wanted to use this for, oh, let's say like an amble or something, that might be a kind of an interesting, fun choice. Head design probably isn't the best choice for that, but I think plenty of other burrowing big giant beetle monsters could see use with a creature like this as well. I am really digging it, and I am eagerly looking forward to seeing some of the other new stuff that Comet Lord has coming out. Grabbing a couple other pieces. I mean, these guys 
I don't know if they'd work as well as I would like them to for like Vespids or something. Obviously they don't have guns. If you wanted to paint those up as some kind of like, I don't know. Railgun, minigun type thing. So I'm getting them back in a spot here so everybody can see. I know our Lancer keeps falling over. The North Mark Human as well. I'm just actually trying to find the stupid Witch Hunter model. I don't know where he is. Where did you go? I can't find you anymore. There he is. All right. Yeah. It, it, go, it just goes to show he really is a big model. And I haven't even had a chance to print off the big bad leader of the Undersands. So hopefully we'll see him in a future video as well. But definitely fun model. Nice hefty model, and that's considering that he's been hollowed out as well. He's still got a good heft to it. And I did an absolutely terrible job trying to get that base off. Shame on me, right? It's funny, too, because every now and then I'll do a really nice job getting it off. And I don't think I put that one flat either. You can see the marks there on the ridges. It definitely was supported. So I don't know what magic I worked that time. Anyway. Do take a look if you like giant bug monsters with too many limbs and too many swords and towering over them with very War Machine-esque proportions. Hunt yourself up a Undersands Ravager. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching. We'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.